YouTube. What is good? It is your boy back with another video. Now, I know it's been a while. I feel like it's probably been too long for us, but I am back with another video. And in today's video, guys, we are going to get ready to start a discussion on the status of Reebok. And joining me, I got my boy Daryl. Whoa. So are you What's ready for this, man? huh? All right, man. Let's yeah, go ahead and man. get into it. All right. Guys, with the status of Reebok, as y'all guys know, Reebok is trying to sell its uh, brand to you know just anybody is willing to buy it right now. But we know right now that the top buyers right now are Master P and Baron Davis. Now, of course, I haven't heard anything lately on what's going on with that. It's been kind of slow, as y'all know. Master P has also been you know on several interviews talking about the state of Reebok. So right now we're just trying to figure out what's going on with that, who's gonna buy it, and how soon is this gonna happen. So what do you think about that, Daryl? Man, I'm looking at what's coming out with Reebok, bro, and I'm like, somebody need to buy it, please, right now. Yes, please, because oh, I mean I know in the past that you know people like Shaq and, and number of, numerous other people have tried to go to Adidas and be like, hey. Let me go ahead and buy the brand. I think even AI wanted to be the face of the brand going forward, and I was like, no. So I don't know what Adidas' motive is. And I don't know why they're, where they're holding up so much on selling it, but they need to sell it. Because, you know, when we look at different silhouettes that's coming out, a lot of these silhouettes are trash. I'm just going to be honest. They, I mean, they you got to be real. Definitely got to be real. <laughs> they trash, bro. Like, I, And then I think they're oversaturating market on some silhouettes and you know i'm gonna let you elaborate a little more on that but you know which ones i'm talking about see i see the shade and the shots are being fired towards the direction of the reebok questions uh i think y'all guys seen us for many times talk about uh voicing our opinions on the state of the reebok sneaker line as far as when it comes to the reebok questions we all know that the Reebok questions, like he said, are being a little bit more oversaturated and it's starting to come out with these crazy colors that I believe nobody asked for. Now, if they start coming out more with the traditional, uh, original, old school Reebok questions, I think it would be any any problem with that. But it's just some of these colors that are coming out with, man, I feel like it's killing the brand of Reebok. And for the guys our age, we grew up with Reebok being one of the prominent sneaker lines in the game right behind Nike. Like you said, you had guys like Shaq, you had guys like Iris, you had guys like Sean Kim, these type of basketball players who were keeping the brand at its peak. And it's like now when Adidas ended up buying them, we don't know what happened. It's like Adidas just shelled Reebok and focused mainly on Adidas. Not treating Reebok the same way that Nike treats Jordan or treats uh, Converse, where it's its own separate entity that they put the resources in for them to continue to keep running their company. But they just completely sidetracked them, which is leading to a lot of people, like you said, like Shaq, like Master P, Baron Davis, others who are trying to go in and step in and buy them so that they can put Reebok back to where it was. We want our classic Reebok back. Yes. That's what we want. We want it back. You know, I remember watching the AI commercials and being like, bro, I want them shoes. You know, I even, I even was, as a kid, I wanted to wear the twizzle. Oh the yeah. Shacks. Yes. The sack toasted. Yes. Give me some of those. You know, and then I'm looking at some of the silhouettes like the rainbow colored kamikaze that they drop. Uh, no. Give me the classic black and white. And it seems like you that know? I feel like too that they're not putting the original colorways or the original material in these Reeboks. Which also kind of uh, further proves that they're not putting enough resources into Reebok. As y'all know, uh, the Reebok questions, like we said before, are the prominent ones. And you can tell how the, the material today is not the same material as it was back then. Even in some of the shacks that came back out, the material today is not the same as it was back then. So Reebok, what's not up, man? Not, not at all. I just feel like if you put it in the hands of a Master P or somebody like that, they're going to, to bring back that nostalgia that it used to have back in the day. And he's talked about that on several interviews, talking about how they want to bring in guys like Shaq. They want to bring in guys like Iverson, guys who help build up the brand. To try to bring the brand back to prominence, man. And I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. But that's just yeah. 
I I agree. I agree with you a hundred percent. And I mean, even with and now you know they they kind of even got lax on some of the Reebok classes, just the oh, yeah. regular shells. You know, they kind of just pushed it to the back burner. So Adidas, if you're watching, please, please go ahead and say it. give give P his shot. Let him bring it to the forefront. And I mean, even he he probably got a. a, a boatload of ideas in his mind of what he wants to do with the brand. Him and BD. Right. BD? Oh yeah. I love BD. So oh, yeah, BD sure. being the basketball player and, and him being the entrepreneur, those two putting their minds together, it's going to be something special. So I just want Reebok to come back to where he used to be. Hey, hey listen Reebok, if y'all do come back man, go ahead and put that emblem that y'all used to have that the one Daryl got on the screen right there Go ahead and bring that back. Do without that triangle. Yeah, that one right there. Do without that triangle, man. I just feel like with that, man, that is the symbol of Reebok right there. That's the symbol that a lot of people in our generation remember Reebok when it was at its peak. So let me ask you another question, Daryl, before we end this. Do you see Master P or Baron Davis getting Reebok? 75 25 because it's taking so long yeah I, I, you know if it wasn't being such a drawn out process i would say 75 25 but, I, I, um, yeah I, I look at it as 75 25 they is just taking entirely too long and if we go if they go ahead and just do the deal i mean i don't see what's holding it up I mean, y'all are more focused on your brand and your athletes that are on the brands. Just give it up. You know, they, they, got to, the, they got the capital. Guys like Shaq tried to buy it, you know, years ago, and they, like you said, didn't want to sell it to him. And so with uh, these guys who are offering to, to buy the company from, like you said, I don't know why they're they're so hesitant on actually selling the company. Just go ahead and sell the company, man, so we can the people out here who are the true fans of Reebok can finally start getting what we want. Because I know Master P and Baron Davis have a plan because they discussed it before. So I just feel like, man, look, go ahead and sell it so that way that we as fans can finally get what we want. Right. Right. Most definitely, man. Just go ahead and give us what we want. Exactly. So, guys, listen. Why don't y'all go ahead and comment below what y'all think about the, the Reebok sneaker brand and go ahead and let us know if you're into Reeboks, if you're not into Reeboks, and if you guys think they're going to sell how, how soon do you think they will sell? And listen, guys, with that being said, it's your boy, Real. I got my guest, my boy, Daryl, as usual. And we like to say, uh, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So I will have more discussion videos like this under the Real Talk banner. So, guys, please look forward to that. And with that being said, guys, we are out. Peace.